Boy Meets Book, a show where we take a look back at a recent read for all my fellow bookworms out there. Jeff Perlman is a New York Times bestselling author from Mayo Pack, New York. He is most recently known for his Showtime book based on the L.A. Lakers dynasty of the 1980s, later becoming the hit HBO series Winning Time. Today we'll be taking a look at his 2006 release, Barry Bonds and the Making of an Antihero. A product of baseball royalty, Bonds grew up in Northern California, the son of Bobby Bonds, a 13-year MLB veteran, and godson of Willie Mays, arguably one of the best baseball players to ever live. He was able to overcome the shadow of his star dad on the baseball diamond and avoided the alcoholism that altered the fate of his father's career off of it. What he did extract from his mentors was a disdain for the media and overall baseball culture, which, to their argument, was incredibly racist towards black and brown players at the time. In the making of an anti-hero, Perlman sits with hundreds of interviewees that all sing a similar tune. Barry Bonds is probably the best baseball player I've ever seen, and maybe one of the biggest pricks, too. Infamously rude to the media throughout his career, Barry also isolated teammates in ruined locker room vibes in Pittsburgh and San Francisco alike. Gary Peterson of the Contra Costa Times had this to say, Bonds is a staggeringly gifted athlete, pure magic on the baseball field. There's no debate there, but life ultimately comes down to how you treat people. Bonds treats people as if they were put on this planet specifically to annoy him. Perlman has since admitted on his weekly podcast, Two Riders Slinging Yang, he wished he did spend a little more time getting into the why of Barry and his ways. For me personally, after reading and gaining a greater perspective, we know McGuire and Sosa cheated during their historic 1998 season, and maybe Barry never does if they don't. None of the three will make the Hall of Fame at this point, but it does seem the hate in baseball circles is heavier on Barry than his contemporaries. Prior to steroid use, we were talking about a guy that was working out in the off-seasons with Jerry Rice, accomplishing feats never seen in the long and storied history of baseball, only to be overshadowed by two guys everyone knew were cheating. So why did I read Barry Bonds, The Making of an Antihero? Bonds has always been one of the most polarizing and controversial superstars in sports. As a young baseball fan in the late 90s and early 2000s, I'd always heard reports of him being an asshole on and off the field, along with all the steroid smoke that clouded his late career, and I wanted to know more. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's GQ Chris, and I'll see you on the next episode of...